Actually, it's a high precision data acquisition system like used in MotoGP, for example. What we try to do or what we try to find out is the efficiency of the brain system, basically the damping and the suspension of the bike. First, we have accelerators. You can see the forces. It's, it's Newton, maybe you remember from school. Acceleration by, by mass is, is, is a force. Well, my bike looks like a Star Wars full of cables and uh, what we can see is the front and rear suspension, the travel, full on data on the computer. Okay, for the next round we're testing again fully open in the rear and in the front, making sure the wattage is set to zero and the GPS sensor has a signal. Very good. Let's go. Susie, it's up to you. Okay, you see that? He hits the bump and immediately it opens. Yeah, that's nice to see. It's almost, there's no delay at all. No. As soon as he hits the obstacle, the brain opens. Perfect. Cool. It works. And the good result is that we proved that the brain is actually functioning and the brain is the most efficient and the most fastest system available. We had the big advantage over the hardtail that we had more traction, better bump absorption, um, less fatigue and uh, the benefit over a full open system was that especially going up the pavement um, he's faster and in his brain it feels faster so for the racer it's a big motivation if you look at the epic you think uh, this bike is not you can't improve anymore but i know the engineers they work very hard also together with us the race team that we uh, the next few years we're going to be a step ahead again there's always new materials coming out new ideas we are talking a lot and it's just uh, awesome uh, work with with them together and so also this week we spend uh, a very good week together and where where you just sit on the table there's a conversation always going on that's how you create create ideas and that's gonna put us a step ahead again uh, in the future mm -hmm.